Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be week five of the C's Club, I think. Yeah, I think week five. Um, so you probably already know what the theme is because a lot of other of the folks in the club have been uploading their videos. Um, but it is um, pop culture. And so um, we are supposed to pick scent that is named after scents that are named after different things in pop culture i wasn't sure if i was going to have very much wax especially yeah i mean i know there's some vendors that tend to use a lot of different names that would come from pop culture and then some vendors that don't right so i kind of wasn't sure how much i'd find i was also concerned about having nighttime blends luckily i did find some i didn't pull a ton this is fairly limited um but so I will probably supplement throughout the week as needed, but let me go ahead and jump in and share with you what I pulled. So one of the nighttime blends, so this is something I just hauled recently from Super Tarts. This is Immortal Child, which is pink sugar, lavender, vanilla cream, strawberry, and pound cake. And it's actually a blend of her go to sleep and happy birthday, which I love this blend. I haven't melted it yet since I did just get it. Um, Immortal Child is from the Twilight series and I'm not great with pop culture, this one I'm I'm pretty confident of. Some of these I had to look up because I didn't know. I basically pulled name that I, names that I was like, well, I'm pretty sure this is pop culture because I don't know what else, why else something would be named this, you know? Um, but this is one I was pretty confident of and I knew on my own. Um, and if I'm wrong, then duh. But um, Immortal Child, so from Twilight. And then I pulled... Um, from Vintage Chic Scents, I do have just a little bit left in this bag. This is Sweeney's Barbershop, which is shaving cream, mint, and strawberries. And this is from Sweeney Todd, the Demon Barber, or something like that. I think it was like a musical back in the day. And then I think Johnny Depp made a movie on it. Um, so I pulled this scent just a little bit, and I'm hopefully, hopefully I can use that up. From L3 Waxy Wonders, I pulled today's October 3rd. This is a quote from Mean Girls. This one, I actually, when I first started buying from L3, I actually did not know what this stood for. I had to look it up, but I know now. There's another quote, another one that's a quote from Mean Girls. So this is Get In Loser, and this is Bakery Bomb Pretzel. Today is October 3rd. So um, that is another quote from Mean Girls. I have quite a few from L3. So this next one here is Lufo with extra toasted mallow cake. So Lufo is a character from, let me see, I screenshotted this one. Is it Beauty and the Beast, I think? I believe. Yes, Beauty and the Beast. So he's a character in Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, I had to look it up. Um, then there is a scent, Sabrina. This is 16th birthday cake, pink petal tea cakes. And I believe this is supposed to be from Sabrina, the teenage witch, I would guess. I didn't look that one up, but that's my guess. Um, this next one here is lock, shock and barrel. And this is, oh, I don't have the scent description, but I think this is like a candy scent. And I believe, okay, so this is a, char um, a character from Nightmare Before Christmas. So um, I think you tend to get a lot of character names from, um, like, one, I think I had a lot of pop culture for Fall and Christmas, but I was like, I didn't want to pull a lot of Fall and Christmas scents. I'm okay pulling, like, bakery scents, but I definitely know a lot of vendors use kind of pop culture names for uh, fall especially. So I do like bakery, but I didn't want, like, fall-heavy bakery. This next one is Fuller House Cream Cheese Frostings. This is actually a chunky square that I've melted part of. And so Fuller House, I think that's what, Full House and then Fuller House was when they brought it back, the show back, right? Um, so this is Saturday Morning Cartoons, all your favorite cereals and milk and fresh baked vanilla sugar cookies. And that's mixed with cream cheese frosting. So I pulled that one. And then the last, oh no, there's two more for L3. Um, this next one is Stan the Man, and this is in honor of the legend Stan Lee. He's a comic book writer, I believe, like a legendary comic book writer. Um, a top secret blend of sweet fruits and amazing creamy coconuts. Um, so Stan the Man, I went ahead and think he is obviously an icon in pop culture. Um, then the last one from L3 is Susan the Gentle. 
and this is soothing lavender birthday cake and strawberry jam and susan the gentles referring to the character susan in the chronicles of narnia is what i understand from looking it up then i pulled one from dessa's um she does do a lot of disney themed wax um, I did pull some of her Disney, but I don't have like a ton of it, but I do feel like Disney movies and Disney theme park is part of pop culture. So this is Evil Queen Elixir. This is green apple pear, sour green apple candy, and fizzy effervescent. I just have one little chunk here. I believe that's supposed to be like Snow White, the queen in Snow White, um, because of the apple. From Vintage Chic Scents, I pulled Black Christmas, and my understanding is maybe this was a movie, like a horror movie or something. I'm not sure. But so definitely correct me if I'm wrong on any of these down below. And this is Buttermint, Vanilla Bee Noel, and Fireside. I don't really smell a Fireside note in this one, so I'm thinking this can hopefully be a nighttime blend for me. Then the last couple things from Super Tarts, I pulled Lucille. This is... Um, the bat in um the walking dead so this is chocolate orchid blue sugar so um i pulled that one i love that type of scent and then the last one is luvo i pulled this one up as well what is luvo i forgot oh let's see i thought i pulled it up oh isn't is she Madame Louveau, like a voodoo queen or something. I actually think she was like a real character in New York, like someone who lived in New Orleans who practiced voodoo. And then I think there's maybe a movie based on it. I don't know. Again, this is just from me looking it up. But this is lavender cream, sugar crystals, and buttercream. So again, this is another nighttime blend. So that's it. That's all I pulled. Not a ton of stuff, but definitely some things to melt through and then I will just supplement this stuff as needed throughout the week. So if you guys are following along, what are some of the scents you pulled? Did you have a hard time finding scents that you knew? Are you good with pop culture? I'm not. I have like a friend from college who like knows everything pop culture. So if I ever have questions, I ask her um, about anything. So I know some stuff, but not, not great, especially when it comes to comic book stuff, because I, I generally don't watch any comic book and comic book series movies shows anything like that so um but anyhow if you are following along definitely post below what you are um, planning to melt this coming week thank you guys so much for watching i will talk to you soon bye